Good morning, everybody. Congratulations, you've all managed to survive another week. <laughs> but we're still 19 days away from fall break. Before you despair, enjoy this heroic clip of a dog saving another dog from drowning to remind you there's still hope in this world. A quick recap of this week. Monday during chapel, our guest ventriloquist mocked Bryce Yoder for his choice to major in vocal performance, calling it a career in professional unemployment. Before you feel bad for Bryce, it's fair to point out that he's well on his way to dressing the part of professionally unemployed. Wardrobe of choice, tie-dye, and pajama pants. <laughs> Our men's soccer team recently won their game against Lawrence Technical, but more importantly, my co-host, who has played how many minutes this season? Still zero. <laughs> Still managed to get himself a yellow card during the game. Which is harder than you think. Doomsday theorists are speculating the end of the world begins tomorrow. Just in case the apocalypse is coming, we think you should know that during his time at Olivet, Prez Chen helped create a Pong Shot parody video entitled Medicine Ball Shots. We put together a highlight reel. around here this weekend. Our volleyball team has a game against Grace College tonight at 7 and against St. Francis tomorrow at 3. Tennis plays Huntington tomorrow at Knollwood Country Club at 11 a.m. Campus Activities is hosting a video game tournament in the Acorn Side Room tonight from 7 to 10. There will be 2K and Smash tournaments, snacks, and a higher than average percentage of guys without girlfriends. You'll probably see Seth kissing you there. Service day is October 3rd. Sign-ups are live now. You need to sign up for a group by Wednesday. Remember, it's required for all students, but classes are also canceled that day prior to 6 p.m. Breaking Free 101 kicks off Monday and runs for the next 10 weeks. It's not too late to take advantage of this opportunity. Talk to Bill or Debbie Jones or your RD and they can get you more information. If you're a YouTube native, you may remember the world's greatest freakout videos from back in the day. This week captured one of our own in freakout mode as Jeremy Mann discovered 21 bananas hidden in his bed. What in the world? What in the world? Ah! <laughs> what? Look at this! What? Look at all these bananas in my pillowcase! One, two, three, eleven, twenty, one, twenty, one! Halfway to forty-two! We can start our own fruit shop here. Might as well just call this Banana Island. I can't even hold all these bananas! If the world doesn't end tomorrow, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.